mother of necessity, create invention. When we are uh, under certain concern about how we are going to overcome and to defeat our adversaries, our enemies that are looking to the past, not to the future. How we, the so-called Western world, the so-called illustrated world, the so-called the brightest world, can you be defeated by these radicals, by these fanatics? How is possible that we are not clever enough when we have such important university and science and new technology in development? How can we work together to have a scientific approach to peace in the near future? So I'm confident, my dear friends, I'm confident that together we'll be able to establish a lasting peace in the Middle East. I'm confident that the leaders of today in the region are going to have this determination and this commitment and this engagement of Ben Gurion. I'm confident that Prime Minister Netanyahu, when he said we are going to accept the two-state solution and the President Abbas or the leader of Syria, Bashar al-Assad, or whoever is in the region wants really to advance in this lasting peace so eager for all of us. So for all that, I, my dear friends, for me today, like for Simone Veil and for the ones who just come here again to the Negev, to Beersheba, to Ben Gurion University, it's an extremely moving day. It's a extremely moving day full of symbolism. Symbolism of this man, Ben Gurion, that make a dream a reality. Symbolism of this region of the Negev that has converted desert in a flourishing garden. Symbolism of the new world that want to live in peace together with Europeans, with Arabs, with all humankind, because humankind needs and wants peace. So for all that, I'm extremely honored and grateful for this award. You can be sure, the dear friend of Ben Gurion University, that after this ceremony, after this award, I will have a still even more moral strength, moral, moral inspiration, more determination to win this battle for peace. And together, we will succeed. Thank you very much. Yeah.